This time on Car Guy Diaries, I try and explain what this means while boring you all to death about a car that no one's interested in. And now for something completely different. As some of you may have seen from the start of episode 2, and also the teaser that was released on YouTube, my MX-5 has an aftermarket roll hoop. The reason for this is I quite like the original, but wanted something a bit chunkier. So I went ahead and ordered a GC Fabrications roll hoop that you can see in front of your screen now. It did look good, and fitted fairly well, and also was significantly closer to the roof than the originals. Which is good, because it meant if ever I rolled the car over, I wouldn't be taking a core sample with my head. However, it was missing a few of the mounting points for factory fitted equipment. Let me explain. So if we look at the interior of a power retractable hardtop MX-5 with the interior plastics removed, we can see the extent of the problem that's ahead of us. First of all, we need to find or make mounting points for the power retractable hardtop module which is located here, and the speakers here, the hardtop latch that secures the roof in the down position, which is here, and the side mounting brackets that fasten the legs of the roll bar to the side of the vehicle, which are located here. There's then the seatbelt guides that the new roll bar has no provision for, which are located here. Also, on my particular vehicle, because I love the tunes, it has a Bose amplifier that isn't pictured here. So if we add that in with the power of, well, I don't know, magic. There we go. We can then add another arrow here to point that one out. Obviously, that all has to be done while still allowing the roof to go up, shown here by a green arrow. And also making sure the roof doesn't hit the top of the new roll bar, indicated here by a green circle. That would be too easy, however, because of course the new roll bar is significantly higher than that and close to the roof anyway. Hmm. Great. So I did some plans on an iPad that looked awful, and then work began. Sam had some gussets lying around that he didn't use from the race car, so those were added, and it was popped into the car for another test fit, just to make sure they cleared the roof mechanism. Going back slightly, I then cut up my old roll bar and started cannibalising it to fit everything else to. I figured Mazda had already made a good job of it, so let's use what they've done. Cutting it up and welding it back to the roll bar was possibly one of the most difficult things I've ever done and managed to get right. You can see here provisions for the seatbelt guides, all in place and being tested. And then another test fit allowed us to actually weld stuff together and get it in the right place. Here you can see the bottom brackets having been welded into place. A hole cut to allow the hard top latch to fit. There it is in place. And now a video of it working. I amaze myself sometimes because I'm by no means a fabricator and definitely not a mechanic. Here is how I uh, mounted the Bose amp at the bottom and the top. And in this wider shot, you can also see provision has been made to mount the power retractable hardtop module. With the fabrication side of it mostly done, and a massive thanks to Sam for doing all the welding, I decided to fit the interior plastics and cut them while it was out of the car. It was then dropped off at the paint shop, and I can't thank Mark and his team enough. They really know their stuff. I decided to have it painted body colour. And once it was back, I started building it up. First adding the speakers and back plastic, and then adding the securing latch for the hard top that you can see in this picture. Then adding the Bluetooth control module before eventually getting it in the car and seeing what it looked like. Once it was in the car, I was able to then start adding bits that would have been difficult to lift into the car such as the power retractable hardtop module and also that Bose amp for the tunes once more. Even the seatbelt guide fitted. Amazing. I then put the roof up and stood back and admired my handiwork. 
but it wasn't over yet. I had the interior plastics to finish off. Great. I used red edging to cover up all the rough edges, although I did file them down slightly. I figured that gave it a much better finish. I'm over the moon with the fit and finish of this, and really happy everything mounts where it should. And well, that's it. If anyone made it this far, well done. I do promise that normal service will be resumed shortly. I'm also going to take this opportunity to say that these rather fetching Car Guy Diaries Instagram stickers are going to be available for your car through our Facebook page. If you message us through there, I think we'll probably do them at the moment just for the cost of postage. So get in touch.